ready? Mm-hmm. Take my hand, take a breath, hold me close, take one step, keep your eyes locked in mine, let the music be your guide. Hold you Hey Glamours, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, hola, como estas? Sally, bonjour, wagwan. Um, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. As you guys can already tell from the title, this is a recreation of Keisha Kayor's um, wedding makeup look that she wore on her beautiful wedding day to Gucci Mane. Um, the wedding was like 1.7 mil. It was absolutely beautiful. She looked stunning. Like everything just looked like black excellence and I was so here for it. Once I saw the makeup look, I was like, you know what, like I have to recreate this. This is my own spin on it. But yeah, we have different face shape and different eye shape and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, I don't have a blinked out wedding dress. So yeah, so we're just going to pretend like this is a blinged out wedding dress and if this is your first time on my channel please do not forget to click the subscribe button thumbs this video up and check out my other videos because i actually have other pretty awesome videos so we're just going to jump right into it i hope you guys enjoy it please thumbs it up comment below share it tag her tag somebody um but yeah let's get started i haven't done a talk through in forever so please bear with me i might be a little rusty I'm going to put some lip balm my lips and I'm going to list all of the products down below so just make sure you check there um, to know everything that I used on my face to create this look go in with um, my white cell moisturizer and basically so we want to moisturize our face to make sure everything is super duper okay just put it in my mouth okay <laughs> we're going to moisturize our face to make sure everything is like super duper moisturized and hydrated. It's so rusty when it comes to talk through, so this is going to be very, very funny. So for the brows today, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown for hers. I know they used Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow as well as the powder, but I'm going to be using just the Dip Brow because that's like all I use. That's my favorite thing to use on my brow. I feel like her brows were a little sharper and like more type thing. So I'm going to try my possible best not to make my as rounded because I usually do my a little on the rounder side. And honestly guys I am so sorry that I have not uploaded in almost like two and a half weeks. Um, it was like my birthday like two weeks ago so I was so busy planning like my birthday party and stuff and then after that like this side of my face broke out like my skin is just going through things right now but you know we're trying to mm -hmm. cure it. I'm going to go ahead and carve it out with um, my fawn concealers just mix in the cool tint and the fawn for the bottom part. Basically I want my under eye to be the under brows to be sharp and bright but not too bright. And dark cocoa is darker than my skin. Um, I usually use chestnut, but I couldn't find it right now, so this is gonna have to do. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and set the brows so everything stays in place and does not move. It's still fawn and cool tan, so I'm just gonna focus it a lot here. I don't wanna use a lot of concealer on my eyelids, so I'm just taking just very lightly and priming my lids. So after this, I'm going to go in with my translucent powder, and this is the Marcel translucent powder, and I'm going to use that to set my lid. Okay, so for her eye makeup, I'm going to be using predominantly my Huda Beauty palette and my um, Juvia's Place palette. I'm going to go into my crease with this color from the Huda Beauty, and this is called Sandalwood. So I just place it right into my crease. It was so glamorous and so beautiful. like. I, once I said I was like, you know what, like I have to recreate this look. It's so beautiful. I'm just building it into my crease. Just take your time to build the color because there's such subtle colors. You don't want to just put just one swipe and that's it. I'm going to go in with henna and henna is basically slightly darker right into the crease. So don't worry if it's getting on the actual lid because we're going to cut the crease anyway. So don't worry too much about that. After this, we're going to go back with the sandalwood 
just to blend out everything. I'm going to use the Coltan Concealer to cut my crease. Go ahead and set it. And I'm using my Naked Urban Decay Palette. I'm going to be using the color, it's called Half Baked. So I'm just going to just lightly put it on top, so not packing it on. Before we go ahead and do the glitter, I'm going to do my liner. So for the wing part, um, hers was very different from what I usually do. So I feel like she connected it from the bottom lash. So basically you're going to do this. So after this, I'm going to go in with the um, Urban Decay um, Heavy Metal Midnight Cowboy. This is exactly the sparkle that she actually wore. So when I realized I had this, I was like, you know, I have to film this look. Like, it's a sign. It's a sign. And place it right over top. And we're going to do that very lightly, so not like completely covering everything. And I usually do this after I do the liner just because if you do it first before your liner, it's going to make your liner like... 10 times harder to put on. For the lashes, I'll be using my Lady Lashes in Bell and Kisses um, Lashes, and this is in the style number 11. And I'm going to stack both of them to give it that Lily Lashes um, effect. So while the glue is getting tacky on the lashes, I'm going to pop on some mascara. Okay, so to stack the lashes, I'm putting the Bell ones first, and I'm going to go in with the Kiss one over top just to make it fluffier, just because this one is not as fluffy as the one that she used. I'm gonna pop this right over top the Bell. So just center it and just pop it right over top. See why I feel like it makes a difference? So this is it double stacked and this is just the bell. Um, so if you guys can look closely, I feel like this is a lot fluffier looking than this one. I'm going to go in with my Nubian palette and I'm using this brown here. It's like a bronzy brown. It's almost done because I love it way too much. And I'm going to use that just to deepen the crease a little bit to make it look a lot smokier. Now we're gonna move on to the face. I'm going to put on some primer, and this primer is by Pessanel. I'm gonna put everything down below, like I said. So, so just gonna put it right there. Also gonna put a little underneath my eyes, just to smoothing out um, my under eyes. Smooth that out as well. From the rest of your face. the NARS multiple stick and this is in the shade Palm Beach and I'm going to put this all over my face before I put my foundation and basically what this is going to do is going to help give my face like a super glowy look and just blend that out because once the foundation goes over top the foundation peeks through and just becomes super duper glowy so for my foundation I'm going to be using these two I'm gonna be using the Becca ultimate coverage foundation in the shade Sienna and I'm going to be using Estee Lauder double wear in the shade rich cocoa and I'm going to be putting this on the center of my face and then this one on the parameters and I'm going to blend everything out I feel like on camera it's picking up like it's super red it is slightly red but not super red and do you guys can see how much like lighter the Estee Lauder one is um, this is the dar darkest shade unfortunately so I feel like this is a best way that works for me. Just ignore my beauty blender, honestly. <laughs> it looks like it's been through hell and back. I'm gonna go in with Cool Tan to highlight and go ahead and blend it out. After that, I'm going to go in and cream contour. And with hers, it looked like the makeup artist kind of did like a C type contour. So we're going to do the same thing, so just sculpt the cheekbones, and then a little here, and a little there, and then jawline. And usually when I contour my nose, I like to bring it to my brow so it connects, and just blend that onto my neck. I don't exactly know why like the makeup artist did the C type contour. I think it was just because the I think for the highlight to pop more, like when she added the highlight, I think that's why. Yo, blending is hard. <laughs> like blend till your head hurts, pretty much. And I like to go over my blend with a beauty blender when I'm done just so everything blends seam seamlessly into 
the skin and it doesn't look weird or anything. And just blend it out a little bit so it's not too harsh. And then we're gonna go into bake. For her makeup, um, her makeup artist used the Translucent by Laura Mercier um, and Ben Nye mixed together. For this, I'm just using what, I'm basically using everything that I have, to be honest with you. Like I contemplated going out and buying stuff that she used, but I was like, you know what? I'm trying to, I, like, I want to make this video in a way where, you know, you can still recreate it with stuff that you have at home. So this is basically going to chisel everything. I'm going to go ahead and set my neck just because you don't want all the products that you put on your neck to move as well if you are putting products on your neck. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face and I'm using the Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder and this is in the shade Ebony and I'm going to use that to basically go where I put my contour and we're going to blend that out. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my lower lash with the gel liner on the waterline as well. Remember how she connected the liner to the bottom lash? So basically that's what we're doing. I'm going to connect it to the bottom lash. I'm going to use the black from the same Huda Beauty palette to smoke out my bottom lash. And this is the shade Black Truffle. And I'm just going to go in and just smoke it out. I'm going to go in with this one, Henna. And I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash some more. So I'm going to use Chestnut um, from Ruby Kisses to dust off my baking. I'm just going to pat that in. And with hers, it doesn't look like she had like super highlighted um, under eye in a way like I said. So check. So chestnut is perfect to use to dust it off. And when it comes to like wedding makeup or even any makeup at all, if you bake, it helps everything like lock in and it's not gonna move throughout the day. Just dust all of those off. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face before I start highlighting. My set is I just swallowed that, oh god. So basically for her highlight, she used Illuminati by um what do you call it, by MAC Daddy Artist Couture. But I'm going to be using my Maybelline highlighter and this is the Master Chrome. And all honestly, all my makeup look much up right now. So I'm just going to use a small brush to place it precisely because it looks like um, the makeup artist actually placed it in a C. So it's almost like she did like something like this. So I'm gonna place it in that. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. And also she put a little underneath her brow bone not even actually a little, quite a lot actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Blend just on this corner because like I said, hers was just on that C shape. So usually I would like blend my highlight all the way here and bring it back up, but we're not doing that this time. I'm just focusing it right there. Out the brow bone one just a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of the highlight and put it right onto my nose. I don't quite think she had a um, nose highlight, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just because I feel like it helps my nose um, contour pop some more on the wall. Just brush it right onto my cupid's bow. Again, I don't think she did that, but I like to do that part. I just feel like it helps everything glow. Um, and then again, a little on the forehead right here. I'm gonna do blush. So for her blush, um, I think the lady, I think the makeup artist mixed like a whole bunch of blushes, so I'm gonna mix a whole bunch of blushes. So I'm using the BH Cosmetics 10 Color Palette Blush, and I'm going to be using this NARS Limited Edition blush as well. And this is the um, shade Gulo, Gulu, 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 Gulu. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So it's like this nice, like peachy color, and then from the, um, and then from the. And then from the Beach Cosmetics, I'm going to be mixing this color and this color right there. And just brush it a little on my apples. And I don't know about other people, other people do this, but whenever I'm done doing my blush, I just like to bring it to my forehead just to warm up everything. No particular reason, I just really like doing that. So for the lips, again, I have the actual gloss that she's wearing, um, but this is like the old school packaging. So this is the NARS um, gloss in orgasm and then she was wearing a seven dollar lip legit and basically she was wearing the shade London um, but I have Abu Dhabi so I'm gonna be using Abu Dhabi it's very very close to 
of London. Um, it's very like nudie flesh tone, so that's what we're gonna do. And she lined her lips with cork. I don't have cork, so I'm gonna be using just a random beauty supply store brow liner. So after that, I'm going to pop in the Orgasm lip gloss. I'm gonna pop on mascara at the bottom part. I feel like I put one on this side, but then didn't put on this side. I'm just gonna pop that on. That's pretty much the look. I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself a little. Okay. Take my hand. 